earlier I teased you about a special holiday gift from me to you. Well, here it is. It is time for the exclusive chat that I had with Travi McCoy and Matt McGinley from Gym Class Heroes. It was taped the day after their amazing live performance at the American Music Awards. What? What were you expecting? A Saks Fifth Avenue card? Oh, no, you didn't. Uh -huh. <laughs> You'll have to hit Usher up for that. Right now, please join me as I go off the record with one of, well, another one of my favorite groups, Gym Class Heroes. How you doing? My name is Travi. I'm Matt. We're from the band Gym Class Heroes. And you're checking out TMI and Billboard.com with Downtown Julie Brown. Gym Class Heroes, baby. If I was just another dusty record on the shelf, would you blow me off and play me like everybody else? If I asked you to scratch my back, could you manage that? Like if we had chicken Travi, I can handle that. Furthermore, so here we are with Gym Class Heroes. And the reason why we have you here is I'm so glad it's here. The Paper Cut Chronicles 2, because we have been talking about it and talking about it. Because, That's what you said. of course, you've been on our top 10 chart forever. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. so now it's here. It's crazy. Wow. It's been a long time coming. It We've spent been. nearly three, three years writing this album. So it's crazy to have something out there that to us is kind of so old at this point. Right. Um, but it's exciting, just, you know, people hearing our music for the first time. Brand new to the world. Yeah. Though, you know. yeah, and I want you to talk about that, about your sound, because, you know, you have gone through some sound changes. And um, so I want you to take us through the journey of this album. It's three years young to you, but it's brand new to us. So if you can, like, step it for us so that we know exactly what we're going to get and where where that movement came from. Well, I think um, the beautiful thing about Gym Class Heroes is we don't necessarily ever know, really know what we're gonna get, what we're gonna get. You know what I mean? And um, it's kind of been that way since we started recording music. Um, we're influenced in, you know, by so many different types of music that, um, you know, at the end of the day, everything that that we enjoy um, listening to and everything that we're inspired by creeps its way into what we do, you know? I think even um, in our early days, we were always a fairly ambiguous band. You know, we might have heavy hip-hop influences or rock influences or soul or whatever. And Like Travis says, I mean, that's all a huge part of who we are as musicians and also who we are as people. So, you know, ultimately, uh, a lot of these different influences are going to come out into our music. So right. luckily, we're in a position where it doesn't you really can use it absolutely yeah, yeah. And, and fans kind of know to expect the unexpected i think what gets you here today is your journey from before sure. so i'm going to take you back to the ninth grade uh -oh. <laughs> uh -oh. where is it true you guys met in the ninth grade tenth and then grade. in the 10th grade. grade i yeah. thought Actually, it was the ninth grade was in he was in ninth grade, grade. Yeah. i'm sorry i get it mixed he was in ninth grade i was in 10th grade okay and, and then 11th, I think you met sense. you went to a party and you just got on the mic one night and started rapping and then the next week a band was born totally yeah yeah you, you kind of got it um, <laughs> i mean i think it was pretty much as organic and humble as a band could start you know um, really, I met Trav like one of the first days of school. Oh, look at them, they're, they're hidden <laughs> souls. They are soulmates. That we don't like, we don't really like handshake or get five. We usually we just, just do touch, this touch feet, touch for, feet. for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, you, I think we were just kind of like two musically kindred spirits. I noticed in 2006 when I was going down, you had, you had some sound changes. You kind of went to that synthesizer, kind mm -hmm. of like drum lick beat tell us about that change and being conscious of that well i think for us like we spent so long writing s songs and recording them them on like a shoestring budget that to do something that was uh ambitious and high-end production that fascinated us because we had never heard what we could potentially sound like so i think for that for the school children album we basically tried to outdo anything we had done before i think it's not, that's why it sounded sound like such a big leap from our first record um because paper cut chronicles was basically recorded in three days right. on uh how much do we pay four or five hundred dollars maybe yeah. which is wow. you know what i mean so that's so awesome yeah sure. and the thing sure. was when we were doing that album i was like all right cool maybe we'll get a deal off of this album or something but i mean once we get that deal, we'll definitely go back in and record this thing for like you know a million dollars, yeah, and it'll be this. Thinking, yeah. like, we're gonna have to re redo it all over again, and they're you know gonna it's gonna make be changes, all crispy. They're gonna yeah. make they it put it out as it is, and and I think th that just goes to show like you don't necessarily need a huge budget, or you don't necessarily need a 
you know, ridiculous studio to make something special. You know what I mean? Take a look at my girlfriend. She's the only one I got. Cupid's uh, chokehold, that for me was, um, I think, when my eyes opened and actually saw, actually saw you guys, yeah. for real, and saw this band and saw this music, and it's just so, it's so inspiring. That They're means so a lot coming from you, you know, because I mean, you've been into this music thing for... But you have a lot of fans that are in the music business yeah. as well. I mean, a lot of people that you... And we're just, we're, we're just now like... You know, I think that's just now kind of setting in for us, you know. Like even the fact that, you know, we we did the we did Stereo Hearts with Adam Levine, Adam Levine. And, and when he was like, "Yeah, I'm a huge fan of gym class," I was like, "What?" Like, <laughs> and I mean, even before that, a few years ago, um, Kanye stopped his show and played Cuba's Chokehold, yeah. and I was like, "Someone showed me a video on YouTube." And I'm like, "Is this really happening?" <laughs> like, and like you know, you know that. So the fact that. You know, artists that we look up to and artists that we're into appreciate what we do is is, is mind-boggling to me. You know? Well, what are you going to do yeah. next? I know I'm jumping we, the we gun. Don't, we don't know. We don't know. We don't and that, know. That's, but that's what that's what keeps I mean, that's what keeps it, is it keeps things exciting for us and keeps things ex exciting for our fans. You know what I mean? How tall are you, by the way? Six foot five. Six foot five. Check it out. What size shoe are you? Thirteen. Thirteen. What size shoe are you? Eleven. Eleven. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. <laughs> all right, let's touch souls. That's it. That's it. Oh, so we can. That's, that's it. It's all done. Those are nice. But like thank that. you so much. Anything you want to give a shout out to any of the fans out there? Yeah. Shout out. Big up to everybody out there who's ever supported Gym Class Heroes. Yes. Big up to, to Julie for holding us down and Billboard for showing us so much love here on the show. And um, yeah, look out for us and go get that Paper Cut Chronicles Two album. I'll be forced to come find you, Jay and Silent Bob style. You don't want that. Oh, yes, I do. I did not go out and get it just because he threatened that. So I'm hoping he'll come back to the studio and, you know, all right. I'm just hoping they'll come back to the studio. <laughs> Actually, while that piece was running, we had a whole bunch of Twitters coming in. So a whole bunch of tweets coming in. So before I, you know, can, can we just say a couple before yeah, we, we go? Can, we We're live. OK, know. let's see, because I know that it was blowing up over there. So I want to try and get as many in as I can for the fans out there. Twitter's so. blowing up, Julie. OK, thank you so much. Who was it? Panos Charla tweets. Lady Gaga. Okay, Lady Gaga for the Grammy nomination. For the Grammy nomination. Okay, perfect. Sierra D, and she probably typed Kanye as much as she probably could, but I'm thinking she's feeling Kanye. Okay, Kanye West. she has West. in there about 30 times. Okay. DJ Mortz says, that's an easy one, Adele. Adele. That's right, yeah. There you go. That's right, a little Adele action. And then uh, Enrique JCF. Enrique. 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 Lady Suave. Gaga. Lady Gaga. Okay. Well, that's all. That's all we've got time for because, as they say in Hollywood and at my favorite sandwich shop, that's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. Oh, before I let you go, though, a quick shout out to uh, Taylor Swift and Nicki Minaj, who are going to be honored tomorrow in New York City at Billboard's sixth annual Women in Music event. Yes, big kudos to Tay and Nick, because, you know, we're tight like that. You know, hey, what's up, Tay? What's up, Nick? All right, <laughs> I'm really excited about TMI's new YouTube channel as well. We've, we've been working so hard while you were gobbling, gobbling over Thanksgiving. We were trying to get all this together. We'll be posting a couple of segments from our show each week on our YouTube channel. So check it out at youtube.com backslash billboard TMI. All right, and I'll see you there. See you next Tuesday. Same time, same place, right here, live on billboard.com. Thank you so much for all the love. A fresh new edition of TMI will be coming your way next week. Until then, I'm downtown Julie Brown sending you peace, love, and... Oh, it's this way, right? Rock and roll. <laughs> oh, done it again. <laughs> roll it. Thank you. Thank you.